Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all doing great today. And look who popped back up on the radar. So this is a tropical wave that was a disturbance last week. Uh, however, it was not on the outlook map for a long time but now here it is back again and uh, you'll remember in my previous videos if you watch them that i actually highlighted that area because models were suggesting that we might see some development of it so we have that wave as well as another one just off the coast of africa and so we'll be looking at both of these in details is the caribbean at risk and how strong could this system be so i'm going to be talking about all of that so stick around and before i go into details All right, let's go ahead and begin with a satellite view of the North Atlantic Basin. And here we have it. We're seeing that we have some uh, moisture in sections of the Caribbean inducing some shower and thunderstorm activity. We see some of that off the east coast of the U.S. We have the remnants of the Neal effect in portions of Western Europe. Uh, by chance, if you're there or if you know anyone there, uh, you can let me know in the comments what the weather is like over there. We also have the remnants of Earl uh, up to the north in that area. And so uh, in the main development region, there we have that broad area of a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with that first tropical wave and then that other one moving off Africa is producing a little bit less but still some shower and thunderstorms within that area. Let's look at these areas a bit closer. So here's the Caribbean and as I said we have quite a bit of moisture that is in the area so uh, islands of the western Caribbean are likely to experience some rainfall at some point throughout today. Most likely in the afternoon hours we see that blob of shower and thunderstorm activity developing in the vicinity of Haiti as well and then looking over out of that tropical wave this is the first one out there we see all this convection that is developing within these systems so this is uh pretty significant here and conditions aren't the most favorable right now however once we have the system moving into an area that has enough favorability to enable development then we could see something try to become of this but again there is no guarantee that we're going to be seeing a tropical cyclone from this although models have been showing so the best thing for us to do is to just wait and see what's going to happen so looking at this other wave of africa now here we have it we have this blob of shower and thunderstorm activity and while it is going to be making its way to the west and west northwest uh the cabo verde islands likely to feel some uh, likely to experience some heavy rainfall due to all of that activity taking place within that tropical wave. And so looking at our waves individually now, so this one here is given a 20% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. So we see that a west to west northwestward track is expected of the system here and it's uh, it can really go anywhere within this shaded region and we can see changes over the next couple of days. So I would say that the Eastern Caribbean must definitely be on watch for this system. And even if it does not uh, manage to intensify into a tropical cyclone, if it has all that shower and thunderstorm associated with it, that being persistent for a while can be enough to result in some flooding. So you don't need a tropical cyclone to experience some uh, serious impacts as a result of the system. Once the system is going to get itself together more and we see where it is likely going to be intensifying, the chance is going to gradually increase for us to possibly see development. All right, looking to this next tropical wave off the coast of Africa, also given a 20% chance of development and imminent development is not expected of the system. So it is going to be making its way to the west for a while and then make that turn towards the northwest. So this will likely not make its way across the main development region, but rather linger out there. And uh, if it is out there and it gets itself together well it is probably going to just be a fish storm but let's wait and see what's going to be happening but it looks like the one that we really want to pay attention to is the first wave uh that is located out in the main development region but what are the models expecting for this system is it likely that we're going to be seeing a tropical cyclone become of this well let's go ahead and take a look at what they are showing and we're going to be starting off with gfs and so this is a humidity map and the browns indicate 
more dry air. Meanwhile, the teals indicate that we have more moisture. So this is today, the 12th of September, and there we have all that moisture associated with that first tropical wave, as well as the next one that is located off the coast of Africa. And so as we progress into the end of this week by Friday, we are seeing that we have this moisture extended into portions of the eastern Caribbean, but we're not really seeing much become of it, neither for the other system that would be out there. So uh, GFS is not expecting that these systems will be developing. However, going to Monday, September 19th, a week from now, GFS is expecting that there will be quite a bit of moisture noted in sections of the Caribbean. And so uh, if we have a very moist environment and a low pressure area developing, then we could possibly see some development keeping that the shear is also conducive. But only time will really tell. How about Euro? What is Euro expecting to happen? So this map is Thursday of this week, September 15th. And there we have that little area of moisture, which is that first tropical wave making its way towards the Lesser Antilles. And there we have that other wave out there at that point to the west of the Cabo Verde Islands. And going out to Sunday the 18th, Euro is not expecting that we're going to be seeing development of this on the model run. And as for the first wave, that's really becoming nothing out there. So Euro is not expecting that any of these is going to be developing. But, but on the other hand, Icon is expecting something uh, pretty different. So going to this map now, uh, this is Wednesday, the 14th of September. And we see this low pressure area, 1011 millibar low pressure area associated with that first tropical wave. And the next one would have been just... Uh, would be just in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands. However, going to Saturday on the 17th of September, Icon is expecting that the first wave is going to be developing on approach to the Lesser Antilles. Meanwhile, that other wave just making its way up to the Northwest, but not being a threat to that. So this is pretty interesting here. And Icon has been consistent about this uh, potential development taking place this week. So we really just have to wait and see, as I said, that is really it for this updated video. That is what the models are showing. So again, we have that tropical wave out, probably I would say near midway between the coast of Africa and the Windward Islands. Uh, there we have it popping back up on the radar here. And it looks like we could be seeing something become of this as we're going to be progressing uh, into the end of this week. And it wouldn't be identified. It wouldn't be highlighted yet again if the possibility for that did not exist. So I would would say that persons in the Eastern Caribbean should definitely keep an eye on this and this shaded area, the potential track of the system could change, but to a greater extent, I would say persons in the Bahamas as well and the Caribbean on a whole. So a lot can happen, a lot can change, and we just have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be while ensuring that we are prepared for whatever is to come. And so... I will be keeping you guys updated once it is necessary and if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and of course, remember to always be weatherwise.